Welcome to a place called New York City. It is home to bright lights, street performers, and busy workers rushing down every corner. But all these things became non-existent. A city that was once the loudest is now sleeping. Now to take you around the place that I call home. I hopped on the train and got as much footage as I could. New York City was struck heavily by the pandemic, almost as if the entire city was abandoned. Places of amusement with loud cheers and countless families were now in a state of decay. Stadiums once filled with sports fans became a space of invisible excitement, while international travel halted and local flights were little to none. And this made it harder for people to meet or for kids to make friends. Well, that's how it felt for me. But how exactly was it for others? Today is February 24th, 2022 and I still have not had COVID. I can say that I have seen people who have COVID and they were having the worst times of their lives. But me personally, I did not have COVID, even though I should have had COVID plenty of times, but I have not caught COVID yet. We were stuck in a time of isolation and everyone was in fear of getting the virus. It became an issue of fight or flight. With my actual friends my other friends we were fine we were all chilling we just facetimed we did what everybody did you know you go on facetime house party played some kahoot with my family it was the first time we were actually like having dinner together because my dad worked his like 40 hour a week job my mom would always do stuff for the school my brothers did stuff at school we never had dinner together when COVID started we all had dinner together we were chilling we were having fun it was nice. Well, before quarantine, I was always uh, more focused on like outside things, like what people think of me, whatever. But during quarantine, I got to look deeper into myself and understand like who I am, what I want to be. Uh, so yeah, more self-focused, I, I, I would say. Personally, I think it's benefited me because um, I got to uh, ask myself questions that I didn't want to ask myself before, you know? Uh, think about things that I didn't want to think about before, and just all of, overall just change in general. As time passed, things were starting to look brighter. The medical ship left, indoor dining was back, and people were outside once again. Everything seemed like life was slowly going back to normal. This was until a man by the name of George Floyd was murdered by police. Around the globe, peaceful protests sparked in support of the Black Lives Matter movement to rid of police brutality. Then shortly after, the Asian Lives Matter protests grew large as well due to the mistreatment of the community due to the virus. These became times of unity while also being very divided. I personally feel like there's more division than unity. Like, um, personally, I think that there's definitely things on both sides that are worth recognizing, like struggles from each, each side. It's just more of understanding each other's perspective. It was gonna happen. What, what, what can you expect? If anything, this should have happened sooner. I remember at the time, um, my manager was telling us that we might have to close the store early because, um, you know, because of the fear we were gonna get raided. You know, it is what's serious. And like I said, it was gonna happen. Once again, months have passed and New York City became as loud as it ever was. Broadway became packed after months of empty theaters, and the trains are as packed as they once were. But is this truly the end? 
or is it just the beginning? I feel like now slowly we're like getting the hang of things, you know, we're still wearing masks. Most of us are vaccinated. We're, I mean, at least here in New York, we're slowly like re releasing our restrictions on the masks. But I feel like eventually we're gonna stop wearing the masks. We're gonna stop hearing talks about the vaccine and stuff like that. But it's gonna, as I feel like that as soon as one problem ends, another one's gonna come and then we're all just gonna be like paranoid thinking of everything and it'll, it'll just be a cycle of problems after problems and probably no, no way of finding peace. New York City, just as any other city, isn't perfect. We're trying to be better and build up from all the broken pieces that happened during quarantine. And yes, other issues can happen, yet we overcome them together. It takes time, but I know we will get there slowly but surely.